So when regorafenib stavarga first came out, you know, I was holding fast to the 160 milligram, four tabs, 21 days on, one week off. Um, and I kept trying and I kept trying and I really realized that I couldn't, couldn't get away with that because patients, patients were stopping the medicine. So what have you learned as, you know, you've been in practice the whole time this drug's been out there. What have you learned around managing this drug? No, I, I copy the same experience you had. I mean, when it came out, everybody, I think, was starting 160. Mm. Uh, because also it was a fear that if you decrease the dose, uh, is it effective? Mm. Uh, but we learned uh, uh, along the way that patient, most patients cannot tolerate that dose. Mm. And uh, to your point, they actually stop the drug on their own. And even if you want to reintroduce a drug, sometimes you refuse. So I think it's very wise to start at lower dose. As I, as I mentioned, like 120, I think is reasonable. Mm -hmm. Even 80 is reasonable. Mm -hmm. But the key also to bring them back very soon to check on them and the supportive care in terms of the hand, hand lotion. Hand foot fatigue, diarrhea, not a lot of liver function tests in my experience, but some, right? Sometimes we see it. The problem, if it gets missed, it can be fatal. Yeah, So don't miss it. Yeah. All right. And from as you've lived through this drug and our changing practice and all that, what, what are some of the lessons you've learned? Yeah, so I've learned that the most important thing for patient compliance is to make sure that they understand the side effects, mm. number one, and that they know how to deal with them. Mm. Um, so, you know, nausea, how to deal with hand foot, to call us right away in case we have to decrease the dose a little bit or hold a week, something like that. Uh, the study uh, got the, st the drug to be approved is, uh, is the correct study, which was published by uh, Dr. Grossi in Lancet Oncology in 2013. Um, it was a randomized phase three uh, trial, uh, two to one randomization, which is uh, standard uh, design for a refractory setting patient. Uh, half of the patient received uh, rogarafenib at the dose of 160 milligram, uh, three weeks on, one week off every four week cycle and the um, uh, other arm received placebo because at that time there was no other standard of care. The standard dose uh, at that time was 160. However, uh, uh, when we start to use the drug in the clinic, we start to realize uh, some of the side effects at, uh, at that such dose, like fatigue, hypertension, hand foot syndrome, diarrhea. There was uh, uh, because of that, there was uh, uh, a movement in the medical oncology community to investigate uh, alternative doses or a schedule. Uh, most of us in the clinic use a lower dose to start with, such as uh, one, 120 or even 80 milligram, uh, three, uh, three weeks on, one week off cycle. And in fact, uh, there is ongoing study now led by uh, uh, Dr. Axel Grosier and Sunny Top. Uh, from Mayo Clinic, uh, the redose study trying to uh, answer that question. So it's not uncommon for us to change dose, whether it's from three to two or up or down. Um, do I need a fresh script every time or just tell the patient the number of d pills to take? I think it, it gets a little bit confusing because the pharmacy is going to go over the dosing with the patient mm. before they ship the medication out and then mm. the patient's going to say, no, I'm not supposed to be on that dose, I'm taking this, and then they won't fill it. Yeah. So usually you have to keep up to date on the prescription with what the patient is taking. All right, we've learned a lot on how to dose this drug the best for our patients with metastatic colon cancer.